Creation, and yes, this isn't my channel. It is Derek's Boss Dragons, but I have to do the intro. You know this guy, <laughs> King Austin, up, guys? egg cutting, and uh, yeah, since he's here vlogging, it's like, yeah, should we do it on our channel? It's like, no, let's just do it here on his. So here we are. It's awesome. Uh, pastel Enchi Super Asphalt Two. Pastel Enchi Champagne Asphalt Slash Yellow Belly. So we are hoping for it to be an asphalt. Proving out asphalt over yellow belly, so we can hit all super asphalts. Uh, Maybe well, not, not all super asphalts. Hopefully. Hopefully, yeah, that'd be great. But if we see a freeway in the clutch, then we know it's a yellow belly. So. We won't see one. I hope not. Derek, will we see one? <laughs> I definitely think we will. Huh? A freeway? A freeway? Come on. We want Why not? We want super asphalts. I want a freeway. Yeah, but no, we not just kidding. I'm just messing with you guys. I'm just messing with you guys. What time's your flight leave? What time's your flight? Let's get out of there quick. <laughs> oh, oh man. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna do a race like usual. All right, cool. And we're gonna we're gonna we're using this as I guess the stepping stone into getting RA cutting on our channel back. Yeah. It's been a while. But they're coming, so. Comment down below here. Tell Derek how much you want us to do our channel again, and then he'll tell us. So just put a lot of comments <laughs> down in this video. Comment away. Of course. And while we're here commenting, or well, should be commenting, are we gonna hit freeways? Or are we gonna hit super asphalt? Is the female gonna prove out asphalt or yellow belly? We're hoping asphalt here. I don't care what Derek says. <laughs> go first. Oh, you go first. Okay. No, you go first. Hey, right, you go first. Oh, look at that. Oh, if I had to go first, that would have been the one. Double window. Mold gold. No, oh, no, Coco. Coco Mojo. You don't get those yellow stains anymore. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here we go. Come on, super asphalt. I don't think I've seen a champagne super asphalt combo. Right there. Hold on. Definitely champagne. It's a freeway or super asphalt. It's hard to tell. It's definitely champagne. It's definitely a freeway or super asphalt. It's definitely pastel. We'll say that. Well, it could be an asphalt. We're not. I think it's a pastel champagne freeway or asphalt. Yeah. Asphalt. Uh, or I, super. In order to tell if it's freeway, I have to see the head. Yeah. You know, but uh, I don't know. It, it, I'm not gonna jinx myself and guess yet. Just gotta wait for it to color up. We need a Miss Champagne, that's what needs to happen. Yeah, in order to tell. All right, not that I'll... one, not that one. All right, Austin, come on, let's go. Not that one, not that one. Okay, I'm going for this one. Okay, good. <laughs> so you know why? I want this one. See this? Look Nothing. Like this. Yeah, I know, it's beautiful. Like, <laughs> this one has something. See? I didn't want it. It's okay. This is Austin's pick. Come on, let's... let's... You know, I want to see it if I want. I really want to prove the female out, even though I can just send the shed in for testing. I want to visually. Oh wow, you missed. Ooh, damn. Pastel and she asphalt slash yellow belly. Yeah, nothing crazy. But because the male is a pastel and she super asphalt. Every animal that you know is not freeway or super asphalt is a, is a asphalt. So that's an asphalt. Yeah, it definitely has to be an asphalt. The one I'm taking, the one that you sent, it's not good. No, it's just look, it's beautiful. You should take this. One. I, I I should have, but I didn't because you know I. This is a home run. I have the feeling here. This is this is it. This is my super asphalt male. Huh. Oh no, what did I tell you? No way. What did oh, I tell wow, you? It's just an asphalt. asphalt. This you is how I win the race. <laughs> yeah, see? Okay, wow. Like, this is like the, the, the worst animal I could get. Like, so, and, and when I say worst animal, I don't mean like it's, it's just horrible that it's not a good animal. It's, it's just, just a winning just, point. Well, not only winning, it, it's I have so many asphalts and, and stuff and combos that just an asphalt, this would have been excited for me. Uh, back in 2011. Oh my god, I got an asphalt! You know? <laughs> now, you know, 13 plus years later, 13, 14 years later, or, or whatever the math is, just getting an asphalt. And, and out of this combo, pastel and cheap, pastel champagne. Uh, yeah, this is like a one in 
64 odds. Yeah, and Enchi. For the worst thing. Like, like, that is the... Worst possible outcome. Worst possible outcome I could get from this pairing. Genetically. Genetically, which is crazy. You wanna see the best? Yeah, well, I mean, it wouldn't surprise me. He's got his uh, window. Not really much Coco Mojo or nothing else See, going on. When you got on. two windows, it turns into eyes. And that's that's the good. last one. I guess. The very last. Nope. Nothing no. Crazy. It's another pastel asphalt. No entry in this one. Wow, really? Yeah. So, this one here we're going to have to wait on. But I'm not even thinking freeway. Oh, and it's not. Look right here. You can see some pattern. I got some hooking. Yeah, well, that's a good thing, too. That was a wacky pattern from the Look how clean it is there, and it's all whacked out. Connected. That's oh, cool. yes. Yeah. So there could be something else more going on to this this clutch. We'll, we'll, we'll know, and we'll... Um, there was a possibility. Yes. Now we're thinking it is. It could be. So, um, and I don't want to get into it here. It's not that it's too good for your channel or anything, Derek. It, it, <laughs> hey, this is awesome as no. But what's happening is we do have some stuff that we think, because we have a lot of different genes floating throughout our uh, collection yeah and a lot of the stuff we still here in canada cannot test for yeah so a lot of stuff i've been holding back because of visual traits or things that we can d uh, id as markers so um yeah so i i want to ask something sure. um as you can see about the odds Yes. What, how to deal with situations like this what what kind of motivation you could give like new upcoming Very good breeders? question actually so so um a lot of people, you know, when they start, um, you know, they buy what they can. They're usually chasing higher odds. Um, but I would rather be that guy to have a chance of hitting than not having any chance at all. Um, I, I've seen myself, I've had great odds and missed, and I've had crappy odds and killed it. Like, how do I get seven out of eight when I was only supposed to get two? And then I do like a, a visual to a hat and I was supposed to get what one in one and two, and I got one out of six eggs or one out of seven. I'm like, how? It, it's it's odds. It's it's random. It's sporadic. Um, but one thing is um, with this cutting eggs or or you know hatching out babies. Whatever you decide to do, let them pip, come out on their own, cut. Uh, we cut before they pip most of the time because we feel and we're comfortable doing it. A lot of people wait for one pip and then cut the rest. Other people just let the whole uh, clutch pip on their own. So you're not always going to hit every single odd. You're not always going to you know, hit the genes. You're not going to get hit the sexes. Um, and one of the things that I like to do and, and like to, to, to teach people is if you're working on a certain project, you want to have three or four females for that male in that project minimum. The reason being is, say this was back in 2011 when I was trying to hit asphalts or, or combos and I only had one clutch, you know, or I was trying to hit a super asphalt or I only hit this, I mean, oh, I'd be disappointed. But if I have two or three other clutches, guess what? Now I have three or four more times to, to get what I want, to hit those odds. And you're gonna find that, uh, especially in, going after double, especially triple, and even quad recessives now that you see a lot of people, um, there's, there's been quads made. You know, quite a few people are hitting quads. But they're hard to hit. And they're hard to hit. So um, if, if you have one male to one female, and that's it, you could miss the odds for three years or four years and then hit it on year four. If you had three or four clutches the same year, you could miss on the first three clutches and hit it in the fourth clutch the same year instead of waiting three or four years right and just it's how you stock uh, your, your collection and, and how you build your um, your breeding program you know because a lot of things too is even in my racks a lot of this my old backs are combo double heads combo triple heads visual double heads visual triple heads double visual double heads with a whole bunch of genes yeah we have a lot but guess what I don't know 
down the road which ones are gonna you know breed uh, right away because I've done that too oh I don't need as many of these and I've sold them to people and guess what mine didn't breed this year and I'm like hey Billy remember that animal I got from you look what I made I'm like man and the one that really rubs me wrong I know exactly which one who's that super asphalt exanthic yep super Ooh. asphalt exanthic so back in 2018 I bred a super asphalt to an exanthic and I, I did pretty good. I think I got a 3.7. 2.5. Okay. So 7 was in my head. So that's why. Because 7 in my head. And you sold a 2.5. I sold, no, I sold a 1.2. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> so, I, 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 so watch this. I sold a 1.2, which means one male, yeah. two females, and I kept one male, three females. That's cool. crazy. I'm happy. <laughs> I have had two, three clutches from it. I've missed. I, I, I haven't hit the super asphalt exantic. I've hit super asphalt 66% head exantics, and, and I've hit other stuff exantics that are um, not super asphalts. Um, asphalts. Yeah, and, oh yeah, no, no. Yeah, get the as well, asphalt slash yellow belly because we use the male somewhere else. Oh, because we use, yeah, so, yeah. so I haven't hit one yet with one male, three females. The person that bought the one male and the two females, first clutch, first clutch they hit one. Oh man. Kept back the wrong female. Oh, oh I, man. I kept on getting it. And, and then guess what? They sold it to someone else. Oh man. And they hit one too. Oh. And here's me with one male, three females. And I produce the animals that are get. They are giving to other people. It goes. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. Um, and, and you know, I, I'm happy for them. But it's something where it's like, wow, you know, I, I started a project that I really wanted to see. You know, because I mean, you know what? This would look great, like silver and gray and black. This would be amazing, um, and it is amazing. Thing is, it'd be amazing if I made one and I had one here. So, you know, you got to keep just going after it. And something like this, if this was my only clutch of the year, yeah, I'd be in a pretty bummed out mood. You know, oh my God, okay, now I got to wait till next year. When you have multiple, you've seen me hit and miss, hit and miss. Sometimes I kill it, sometimes. Um, but I think overall. I think we're probably 70% plus okay. in, in the positive where we want to be or, or at least really happy with the clutch. Like, you know what? We didn't hit it, but hey, I'm still happy. And then other ones, it's like, oh man, like, you know. A question, another yes. parthogenesis, excuse me, and um, androgenesis. androgenesis. Yes. Can you explain that okay. for us? These are for like new upcoming breeders. They want to know what that yeah, means. Yeah, and the funny thing is, it's not even for new up and coming breeders. I've or just reptile had, enthusiasts. I, I've actually had somebody that has actually been breeding for a while, and uh, I even said, because of the pairing, I'm like, you know what, you could have had an androgenesis. He goes, what in the hell is that? So, parthogenesis is when the female. Okay, it's asexual. Asexually reproduced. Asexual reproduction of the female's genetics only, which that means the female took her genetics and copied them. Duplicated. And that's why you get, let's say you bred a pastel NG and then you see super pastel super NGs in the clutch. Or super pastels, or, or super NGs. Or normals. Or normals. So basically, it either takes her genetic and doubles it, or it doesn't. So with a, a pastel NG, you can hit normals, you can hit pastels, and you can hit, um, oh no, sorry. Normal, pastel, and enchi. So, normal, super pastel, or super enchi only, or the combination of the super enchi, super pastel. That's all you can hit, and all the animals will be? Female. Female. Every time. Now, androgenesis, and this is, I learned this, Sweet. and I'm gonna give a huge shout out to Dr. Warren Booth. Um, I learned this on, on uh, one of the lives I had him on for my Patreon. And he came out and I'm like, well, hold on a second, what, what did you just say? Androgenesis. I'm like, I've never heard of this. What is androgenesis? Well, androgenesis is when the male, okay, breeds a female and none of the female's genetics are used, even though she, you know, carries and, and, and lays the eggs. Only the male. So they'll be all males and only the male genetics the same way. If it's the pastel enchi, you either get a normal male, a super pastel male, a super enchi male, or a super pastel super enchi male. That's, That's all you can get. None of the genes from the female or the sex of the female is at play. And I was like, wow, crazy. Now, it is a lot more rare, but then five, six years ago, part of the genesis, I was just learning, I'm like, wow, I think I hit one and it was new. 
But now so many people, because we didn't really, you know, now the science and so much information and sharing of, of knowledge of, of stuff that we're doing in this industry, now that there's more um, stuff that we can look at to make a, a good evaluation of what's going on. But back in the day, parthenogenesis, I'm like, oh, that was, that's so hard. Now it's like we're getting five, six clutches a year almost. It happens a lot. That ha it happens a lot more now, but now I can explain it. Because I remember back in the day, it's like, I don't get it. I'm happy because I got all females. But like, <laughs> how did I get, oh, I guess that it, the male has to have this, or the male must have this gene. No, it doesn't. Because I produced it and I know what it came from, so it doesn't. Well, maybe it retains sperm, and then you're looking up the way you got it from, or if you mix the mail, it was just so confusing. So now there's a lot more, you know, information now because of, of the amount of clutches being made and people sharing their data. And, and now we can actually look and, and amazing people and, and, and scientists and, 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 you know, doctor like Dr. Warren Booth, you know, doing research and, and uh, you know, letting us know what these animals are capable of. And, you know, now we're gene testing, you know, we're, we're, we're testing sheds for genetics inside. You know, the industry's come such a long way, and it's amazing, you know, and knowledge is key, you know, because we've had some clutches where, um, one, we had, um, did we have a partho in it? I, I know we had retained sperm. We put a male in once that was young that we never saw any action, so we replaced them with another male, and I think we had a partho in that clutch too, did we not? Remember the one? I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, we had four different, we had four different ways the babies were made. That's crazy. Oh, yeah. So That's mind blowing. It is. You know, and, and the thing is, is with the genetics of these animals in the hatchlings, there's got to be a way. I mean, how many people send us uh, uh, snakes for ID? Oh. And we're like, wow, there's fire in there. Or, or there's a gene that so we see. There's a fire in there. And then we're like, wow, it looks like you have fire in it. Can you send us a picture of the parents? No, nope, there was no fire in the pairing, as far as you know, because I've sold animals that, you know, that, that I've sold. And it's like, oh, there's also this in it. Like, wow, because we can't always see some of these genetics. So when we, mo most breeders look at it and say, well, I can see the pastel, I can see the enchi, I can see the orange dream. I'm pretty sure there's yellow belly or asphalt. That's why there's possibles at the end. Um, and, and there could be fire too, because the orange dream and, 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 and the yellow belly and enchi, fire could be a sleeper that just, you know, because there's polymorphism also in some of these genetics where some animals look exactly. brighter than others. and. You know, we've done it too. Hey, Austin, look, there's got to be something else. No, it's polymorphous. But look how much brighter this baby is. No, Billy, it's parthenogenesis. I mean, it's uh, polymorphism. Uh, polymorphism. And I'm like, but, but. And then sure enough, maybe a couple sheds later, they tone down. And they, yeah, and it, tr it tricks you when you it have does. like, when you have like a variation of the same kind of gene. Just throw out there. Yeah, and, and we've seen animals, like, and, and this is probably number one, hypo. Oh, yeah. So many people, they cut the egg like this and go, oh, look, at that looks hypo, it looks hypo. Well, it's probably cut three or four days prior. It hasn't come out, hasn't had any oxygen, oh, hasn't had its first shed, you know, and, and, you know, things that look hypo in the egg <laughs> a couple of weeks later once they're out in the shed don't look hypo anymore. Yep. And I've even seen that with Xanthic too. Oh, yeah. I've seen that because the color hasn't come in. So some of the dark more, oh, I think I had Xanthic. Uh, let, let's see it out of the egg. Yeah, you're right. So it, it does trick us. And uh, I, I think like even this, this could be, that's why I said earlier, you know, this here could be a freeway. I, I'm not sure. Um, but once it comes out of the egg and we can look at the head stamp, some of the pattern and other, uh, other uh, you know, markers that we're looking at, then we can give a better, uh, you know, I guess, uh, conclusion of what the animal is. Yeah. One more question. I think everybody wants to know. This is a personal question. A real crazy one. No, he's not my son. <laughs> <laughs> That's another question we get a lot. I want to know. My wife back home in Belgium <laughs> want to know. The whole world want to know. Who's the winner of this marathon? This unlimited marathon that's going on between you and him. Oh, sure. Bring that up like you didn't know. Like, sure. Bring that up. Like, like five-time loser, even though we've done it for three years. I'm already losing the next two, even though I haven't even done them. Yeah. Um, I haven't won. Are you serious? At, at all. I, I've had a nice little run. And I just came in. And just it knocked it out. Um, so, yeah. Um, I, I'm definitely the loser here on the... Uh, uh, it's just guessing eggs, though. You yeah. heard it, you heard it, you hear it first, right in this channel. <laughs> Billy's a loser here. Listen, they already know I'm a loser. <laughs> they already know. It's like, oh, Billy's a loser every day. Yeah, I can't win. 
you know. But I still have people voting for Team Billy, which is awesome. That's amazing. You team know. Billy. Yeah. Team there Billy. it is, Team Billy. But I, I, I did realize why I, I, I've been losing. Austin's favorite color is. I like red. Right. You know what my favorite color is? Yeah. Green. And I don't know why, but when I and I did, it has nothing to do with Austin. I'm like, oh, let me do Team Billy and Team Austin. I put Team Billy red. And come here. Oh, snap. Yeah, and then I didn't realize this for two years. And then I put Team Austin. And green. And green. Uh, oh, snap. Yeah, and I, green's my favorite color. That's as so I said, crazy. I have no idea why I would put red as my Team Billy and Austin green. Team Austin. I think that's where your luck went. I think it did. So you know what the funny thing is? Next time I'm gonna get the size changed and the right colors, oh, no. and let's just see where we go. Oh, but Austin! I'm telling you, Austin. You know, it's crazy, but it is. It's just <laughs> randomly picking eggs, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's like, you know, my luck's gotta change somehow. But hey, but it's fun. It was, it's, it's a fun oh, thing fun. that we've always done. Um, well, it was fun until you lose it, people. Still Excuse the language, the but oops, but yeah. Still but I still win at the end, because yeah. even when I lose, I win, because they're my eggs, right? So, mm. But yeah, anybody out there, um, you know, this industry, this hobby, um, things happen, okay? It's not perfect. It's not, you know, flowers and rainbows. You will have stuff that happens. And the more you learn and, and, and be able to interact quick, you, you can might be able to, to change the uh, the outcomes, like like an uh, 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 tangled umbilical cord. You can you have the ability to go and, and intervene and help it. Now sometimes it's too bad, and then you you might have to um, you know take it and you know tie off the umbilical cord and then cut it. Um, there's people that um, you know the yolks they don't absorb all the yolk. There's things that you can do there. There's a lot of stuff that you know, uh, awesome keepers and, and breeders all over uh, the world are sharing on, on, on platforms like YouTube. And you can go watch and, and look at a bunch of different people uh, and see how they do things and, and find a way that works best for you. Like uh, assist feeding. I like calling it assist feeding instead of force feeding. Uh, I like calling it assist feeding. Um, I do it differently than many other people and other people do things differently. And it very, um, at first, it's very uncomfortable to do because they're like, oh, am I hurting it? Am I doing it too fast? But it's something that I believe is necessary to help get something inside that animal's body and help trigger the food response. And uh, yeah, I mean, I've done it so many times over a, a 15, 20 year breeding. Um, I've probably done it maybe 40, 50 times. So to me, it's, it's comfortable, just like popping snakes, you know, sexing them. You know, I can pop and it's so, how do you make it look so easy? I just do because I've had lots of practice. And uh, that's the thing. You will have a lot of ups and downs. If you always worry about the downs, you're not gonna concentrate on the ups. No matter how much ups you have, even if you have one up, it's better than concentrating on that and saying, hey, well I have one, at least I did something right. I, I, I have something to keep looking forward to. Instead of dwelling on all the downs because if you keep dwelling on the downs, you won't notice that up or up, several ups, and you won't push yourself forward. And this is a, uh, they, they say it all the time, it's a marathon, not a race. This here, the longer you do it, the more you learn, the more you know, education that you get, the more experience you get, the understanding of the genetics, and, and, and like myself, we're always changing different ways to breed. This year we're changing the way we incubate our eggs. We're not using medium. We change things to see how we like and if there's a benefit or not. And then after we see, we look and say, hey, you know what? What do you think? You know what? We didn't really notice a difference. Let's just go back to the old way. Or hey, you know what? I think this is better. Let's do it the new way. You need to adjust. You need to pivot. You need to uh, you know, find ways to, and it's like everything. A computer back in the day. A car. Wow, here's a car. Cool. It's always getting better. It's evolving. Everything's evolving. We should too as keepers and hobbyists and, 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 and animal lovers. And, and it drives your passion. And change is good. So, you know, say something. I talk too much. <laughs> I can you, talk? Yeah, yeah, go for yeah, it, dude. Jesus. Or just say anything. It doesn't matter. Like anything. any kind of educational tips we would want to offer to people Yeah, what's something else we can coming? just give out quick that, that's, you know... Put all your eggs in one basket. That's probably one of the good ones. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 
but diversify your collection, but don't spread yourself too thin either. You want a couple of main projects, and you want your products to tie in together in the end too, because we're already in doubles and triples and even quad recessives. So if you have four recessives you like, and they think they're going to tie in together, work those projects, exactly. and then they, they can tie back into each other down the road. And um, that's not even easy because we've right. got we've got a lot of that stuff, and it's like, oh, we should have did this, and oh, we should have put that in, and then <laughs> you know. Um, another thing too, I think. Um, adding on to him don't put all your eggs in one basket um, everyone I included I'm sure yeah. you can say this too oh I got this powerful male you got this powerful male he's the go-to guy man he's gonna breed everything I got oh my god it's gonna take me to the next level and it will if he can I've had a male oh why isn't he breeding how come he's not producing sperm what's <laughs> going on no no you don't have a backup male guess what you do not have anything coming, okay? I've done it, you know, and, and we've even had a male, but okay, we got two or three, awesome, keep going, keep going. Nope, doesn't want to breed now. Holy moly, you need to look at, at you know, option A and have an option B, and, and, and yeah. even still, if you want to be like over, do an option C too, just, yeah. just to be kidding. And, and, and the good thing about that too, like Austin said, when you have multiple projects that work together, I really wanted to do this this year, but it's not working, but I can do this and it's still good. It's just, it's an, it's another way to get there. Yeah. You really need to do that because it, it happens more than we like to admit. It, it really does. All right. Thank you for having me. I just want to say thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed as much as I was recording them doing an egg cutting in their facility. I don't think that was done before. Allowing someone else from a different channel to have it on their channel at that, it was just amazing and honorable towards them. It was just an honor allowing me to do that. I appreciate it so much. Thank you to Billy and Austin. I will never forget that day at all. It was just like, a dream it was so surreal it's like I'm recording people that I've been watching for so many years and learning from and now I get to have them on my channel doing the egg cutting thank you so much and all of you that reached all the way to this point I appreciate you so much I hope you guys found this video informative for you guys about the parthenogenesis and the androgenesis I hope that was helpful for you it was sure was helpful for me it was crazy just to even grasp what what that meant it was just insane so i hope you guys like this channel and if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe i much appreciate it it allows me to keep doing and spark creativity for you guys in the future to keep going and maybe you could do something different i hope this opened up a passion for you to go to a direction that you want to go it's just anything is possible if you put your mind to it like great things take time just remember that and never give up don't allow anybody to tell you anything different you're special and have your own special creativity to yourself that you stand out you don't want to follow the crowd roll against it make your own lane that's how you create something special there might be another video like maybe one more or two I'm not positive but there's gonna be more from mutation creation I mean it's just I had so much to cover. It's gonna be amazing, so don't miss out on that. Keep tuning in, and please subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate it so much. And, and like Billy and Austin say, comment on the section below to see if you want their video and channel going back up to do egg cuttings, that'd be nice. Or what was your favorite part of the video and what you liked the most? And tell me, or give me ideas what you want to see on my channel. I'll try to do my best to fulfill that. And I appreciate you all, all to the reptile community, to all the ladies and gents, thank you so much. And I hope to see you on the next one.